The Lord is speaking to you today. Dear son, listen to my message with happiness and perseverance, because even in the end of the week, a capable somersault will happen in your soul. Your system will be enlightened by great advances, and you will be magnified with blessings hitherto abundant through the divine bounty. For the layer of God will be with you. Like this video if you believe in the miraculous powers of the Lord. 1212, heaven will open towards you, pouring showers of grace on your dust and the accomplishments of your tasks. Your journey will be marked by continuous progress, while your financial and emotional soul blossoms again. Like an orchard full of flowers. Human limitations will not set back the heavenly bearing of God that will be manifested in your soul. Be ready, because the transforming phenomenon is in the system, bringing with it an extraordinary diversification that will redefine your luck. Write yourself, 1212, to assert. I announce, in a sharp and kind sound, that the purpose of your pain, suffering and divided feeling is imminent. Your departed prayers answered and the yearnings of your departed feeling absolutely satisfied by the frank contact of God. It is your consideration that you stand at this very end to acknowledge with belief and gratitude all the blessings the Lord has in store for you. The doors that God will open are inviolable insurmountable by any human greatness. He is weaving an incomparable system for you, in which place the solitude of system is apparent. Receive catafalco jura with an open feeling, because the same God is working wonders on your journey, opening horizons beyond apprehension and paving an honorable future for you. 1515, God's enduring will bring an amazing reformation to your sadness, converting it into overflowing happiness. At this very moment, the prayers you have addressed to him are being answered with divine love and care. Trust in God's designs, for he is weaving a youthful chapter of fortune and fulfillment for you, stamped with the answer to your sincere prayers. Write 1515 to invoke God's favor. God is saying my son. I hear your speech and feel your anxiety. I, the Almighty, beg you with love and pity, to wait a little longer, trust me absolutely and wait patiently in my time. Amidst the turbulence of the soul, I understand your concerns and desires. But know that I have an exquisite and fine, straightened surface collected for you. Right now, I wrap you in the warmth of my presence and assure you that every second of the trap will be rewarded. Allow me to pour out your feeling, sustain your belief and prevent the chaste scene so that my meaning is fulfilled in your soul. Patience is a virtue I will cultivate in you, for it is in the trusting trap that you will discover the fullness of my blessings. So trust me. Give me your worries and place your security in my infinite love. I guide you with tender and wise domain, leading you through the system that will lead you to the admirable luck I have prepared for you. Keep hope alive, for soon you will contemplate the presentation of my wonderful work in your soul. Trust in the Lord absolutely your soul and lean not on your own interpretation. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He will make your path straight. Beloved, we are currently going to reflect on the inspiring words of the Apostle Paul. These verses invite us to a life of security and sharing with God, reminding us of the transforming bearing of the allocution and concord that he grants us. Paul teaches us not to worry about anything. We live in a universe loaded with anxiety, worries, and uncertainties, stain we are called to abandon all our concerns in the domain of the Lord. He knows every detail of our lives and is prepared to understand us. Allocution is a powerful tool that absolutely connects us with the soul of God. We are encouraged to present all our requests, needs, and desires before Him. There is no end to how much we can share with our Heavenly Father. He wants to understand every word and see the deepest desires of our hearts. However, the allocution is not lightly a figure of disembarking or executing requests. It must be accompanied by thanksgiving. We should reveal gratitude to God for His goodness, loyalty, and reasoning in our lives. Thanksgiving reminds us of how God is in control and has the best right for us even in the midst of adversity. 
and the portentous result of this life of allocution and thanksgiving is the concord of God, which collectively exceeds human interpretation. This concord does not depend on external circumstances, stain is a concord that comes from within. A concord that bends our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. It is a concord that sustains us amid the storms of life, strengthens us, and gives us confidence. May we live a life of security and sharing with our Lord, knowing how He is always ready to understand us, answer our prayers, and leave us as concord. May we be witnesses of this harmony in the midst of a universe overwhelmed with anxiety. Sharing the confidence we found in Christ Jesus. Right, I will continue to trust in the Lord, to affirm. God continues. Before the end of this month, I, the Almighty God, will grant you a righteousness to celebrate. A flood of grace will be poured over you, flooding every surface of your life. Your finances will flourish, overflowing in abundance. The faculty of the confessor will be kindly bestowed, dispelling the infirmities that plague your body. And, at the exact moment you need it, miracles will manifest as a heavenly force of trust and provision. Believe me, beloved offspring of God, for this is what I vow to you. Do not fear, do not be discouraged. Trust me with your collective being, for I am loyal to my word. Get ready to see my grace and endurance working in your life in extraordinary ways. The ulterior will be clear with the greatness of my wonderful deeds. So lift your head, anchor your soul, and be ready to embrace the heavenly gifts I have collected for you. For a still news of victories and miracles is fast approaching. Let confidence reign in your being, for I, the Lord your God, am present at every moment, bringing the reform that you so yearn for. Three ways you can connect more with God's stable prayer allocution is a powerful way of sharing with the Lord. Dedicate a daily time to woo God, reveal your desires, give thanks for blessings received, and seek His guidance. Keep an elocution action to the prolix of the day, seeking the presence of God at all times. Studying the Word of God the Bible is the divine expression that guides us and indicates the system for a full life in God. Dedicate regular time to mastering the vocabulary, pondering its teachings, and getting to grips with God's will. Allow the scriptures to shape your character and direct your choices. Fellowship with other believers. Seek to walk in sharing with other brothers and sisters in the faith. Share experiences, pray together, encourage and be encouraged by others in their walk of faith. Sharing with other believers strengthens and enriches our relationship with God. Remember how the union of God is a continuous and personal march. Cultivate these practices in your life and allow God to guide you into a more secretive and nurturing approach to Him. Repeat this simple talk to me. O oh dear and merciful God, at this moment I raise my voice to you, with a soul hectic with emotion and reverence. Thou art the Creator of heaven and earth, the gentle Father who guides and sustains His children. Lord, I currently want to decant you and abandon all my dedication to you. I recognize your strength and your sovereignty over all things. You are my refuge and strength, my support in times of difficulty. At this moment, I implore your powerful existence in my soul. Pour on me your gift and mercy, for I know how unworthy I am, stain I trust in your infinite friendship. Forgive my sins. Purify my soul and guide my steps according to your will. 2222 I know the worries that weigh on your soul, stain don't be afraid, for I am taking care of every detail. I am the God who supplies all things according to my will. Nothing is outside my control and no situation is unbearable for me. Prepare to embrace the stream of riches I am pouring out to you. My meaning is to bless you abundantly that you may be a blessing to others. You will be good at vegetating in all areas of your soul. Believe and trust me, even when circumstances seem adverse. I am opening doors of opportunity, bringing strategic connections and blessing the service of your hands. I will surprise you with my loyalty and kindness. Right. 
2222 to adopt God's best. Private message to you Christian. Abide in holiness before the existence of God. You were summoned to be set apart. To labor a soul that glorifies and honors his name. Understand how holiness is a path of deliberate choices, an unvarying pursuit to draw closer to Christ. It is a soul character which turns away from error and is devoted to the will of God. By dwelling in holiness, you are looking to the universe for the reformation which Christ wrought in your soul. As the one who called you is hieratratic, make yourself still holy in your conduct, collectively. 1 Peter 1 verse 15 This is albumin advice that holiness is not an option, it is an obligation for all believers. Holiness brings with it a soul of peace, happiness, and steadfastness with God. It is a request to try the fullness of your friendship and to be used as a powerful resource in your hands. When you turn from error and surrender to the will of God, His Holy Spirit dwells in you and enables you to work in accord with His will. However, we know how challenging laboring a soul of holiness can be. The universe around us attracts us with its fleeting pleasures and temptations. But I encourage you to resolutely root yourself in the Word of God, which is a flame for your life. Feed regularly on the scriptures, meditate on them and allow them to shape your soul. And at what time you fail, remember how penitence and reformation are available to you. God is a kind and merciful Father, bound to forgive and restore those who sincerely repent. Seek His grace and allow Him to read it again, repeat it in His holiness. I hope you enjoyed today's words, it's always a great thing to have you here, daily, to hear what the Lord has to say. Don't forget to like, participate and subscribe to our channel. Closing Prayer Beloved God, at this moment, my soul bows before you. Seeking refuge and consolation in the midst of my distresses. I know how in your grip is the answer to all my worries. Lord, as it is written in Psalm 55, verse 22, cast all my cares and afflictions upon you. I recognize how delicate and limited I am, otherwise I trust in your benevolence and endure infinity. In the middle of life's mess, confluence safety in your constant presence. Father, I ask that you sustain me, that you surround me with your unshakable love. Strengthen me in times of weakness and help me to trust you completely. Allow me to test your concord how much it exceeds collective or human acceptance. Your term assures me that you will not allow the righteous to be shaken. I claim your intervention, knowing how your reason and forgiveness constantly prevail. Help me to lean on your loyalty and take comfort in your constant consideration. At this moment, I deliver in your claws every burden, every concern, every anxiety that you have over me. Enable me to trust in your ways, even at a time when I do not fully understand. Dear Father, I pray that my eyes will be fixed on you even through the tears and storms of life. Fill me with your concord that transcends circumstances and walk my soul and my head in Christ Jesus. I receive this promise of consolation and consolation in you. How my belief is strengthened and how I find strength to proceed, confident in your constant presence. Help me to march with contentment and confidence, knowing how efficient I am in your loving clutches. In the name of Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer, I pray. Amen.